Hello, it's been a minute. I am Paul. You may remember me from such videos in 2019 as What Does an RS6 Sound Like? <laughs> I've been a little busy, had a baby, uh, bought some different cars and thought I'd give you a quick update on what we've been up to. I've just bought this Land Cruiser, which is uh, 2002. It's got a 4.2 litre straight six diesel. Um, I've just bought it and there'll be more to come on what's wrong with it, how we're fixing it. Um, and what it needs and what the plans are for it. Dave has bought a Hilux, which is the 3 liter D4D. Uh, he's also put a big frame on the top for carrying things and we can then stand on it and view drifting. And the, the what is this called? The Subaru, the Subaru is still here as well. It needs some rear brake calipers and a hydro handbrake. That needs fixed because we broke it on track and we still haven't fixed it because baby and life has been complicated. Um, but for today, uh, we have a whole ton of inspection to do on this because I've just bought it a week ago. Um, it was about half what I planned, what I budgeted for, for a Land Cruiser. Uh, because there's some problems with the air suspension, or the, the hydraulic uh, suspension. And it likes to run on five cylinders when it's cold. Look at that rattle. And blow lots of smoke, so it's probably a combination of turbo and the injection pump. We've got to figure that out, which is one of today's do jobs. Uh, Dave is actually in there right now with uh, a genuine, not genuine copy of Techstream, which is uh, the equivalent of, I guess if you know VAGCOM or VCDS, that would be the Volkswagen Audi uh, diagnostic software. Techstream is currently connected to this ancient thing. It's so old it might not even have OBD2, it might be OBD. Uh, but this is the replacement for the Q7 that I bought for towing. The plan was to buy one car that was big and luxurious and reliable, and the Q7 was some of those things, uh, but I had it less than six months. So uh, it was the most quiet, comfortable, luxurious car that I've ever had, but it was a, a time bomb. I was just waiting for, the for something to go wrong. And it came with an Audi approved used warranty, but it took them six months to do nothing to fix the car. Anyway, I'll probably do a fuller rant on my frustrations with that. But, this is the Land Cruiser, which is literally the biggest passenger vehicle that you can buy. There is nothing larger than this. Uh, it's got seven seats. Um, you can fit a pallet into the boot here. It's got the tailgate, which is very important. This one used to be owned by a sheep farmer and farrier. A farrier is a fancy word for a horseshoe man. And so you can see there's um, various uh, welding burn marks on the on the carpet here. Uh, but I'll, I'll do a video on the plans for this car, but today is our first sort of inspection to see what it might need. Hopefully it's not everything, uh, but my working theory is that it will need every bush, joint, spring and seal replaced. And hopefully not a turbo or the injection pump, which is very expensive. Uh, so we're not dead, uh, we're still working on cars. Uh, Big Dave has bought a Ford car with a Subaru engine in it and we're going to take that to a track day as soon as Supreme Leader Nicola Sturgeon allows us to do it. He's opened the fuel flap for me, thanks for that. If, if I have the time, I can do some more videos. I'm actually just using my, I don't know if you can see the reflection, I'm using my phone on a tripod which makes editing much easier because I can just upload things from my phone which might mean that I can put out some content. Uh, but this apparently is the most bomb-proof, bulletproof engine that Toyota has ever made. 4.2 liter, straight six, turbo diesel, big heavy lump, twin batteries, um, giant, giant starter motor, oil pump integrated on the side of the block. It's it's uh, a bit of a, a a bit of a monster. So this is the way I've gone instead of the Q7, instead of buying a newer luxury car. Uh, I just decided to buy the most bulletproof, biggest land monster that I could come up with. It's just going to need some TLC. But more on that, um, stupid dog, uh, more on that to come. But I just thought I'd do a quick update let you know that we are, in fact, not dead. Uh, life has just been quite complicated of late. So we'll try and get some more videos on. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope everyone's doing well. Happy New Year. Uh, stay safe, make good decisions, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.